Hello there folks, I hope you all are doing well and beating the COVID-19. In the short video, I'll be telling you all a fix to the infamous problem with AMD CPUs not showing the temperatures in MSI Afterburner OSD. Right in front of me, I have my ASUS laptop, which is the FX505DT with Ryzen 5 3550H as the CPU. So the issue comes because of the default AIDA64 DLL that MSI Afterburner uses uh, which is right here you can see AIDA64.DLL I have the CPU temperatures turned on and this, uh, this DLL is not able to extract the info from the sensors because of different names than that I specified so you can see right here that I do not see the CPU temperature although I can see the GPU temperature at 60 degrees Celsius right now there is no CPU temperature so what we'll have to do is let me close this first so what we'll have to do is download and install both MSI Afterburner and HW Info which is hardware info from their official websites I'll link their official sites in the description and while installing either of them just click and select river tuna statistic server which is the actual uh, OSD that is being used since I've closed MSI afterburner there is OSD right now so let me tell you what to do after you install all of it all right uh, first of all open HW info 64 or whatever version you have installed on your PC now write in settings and check this option show welcome screen and progress all right click OK click on sensors only and run now under settings just check 500 ms 500 ms and set it right click ok now minimize this option we don't need it for now click on msi afterburner open msi afterburner and here's the thing that will start click on settings as usual click on monitoring and click on these triple dots we have hwinfo.dll uh, check that option click on setup and then click on add alright make sure you have uh, this SW info running in the background next we'll scroll down and find CPU TCTL TDI that shows a temperature which is the actual die temperature of the CPU check it click on ok click on ok again ok again now in these things we can find CPU TCTL TDI at the bottom uh, bottom also as your bottom most option click on show in OST all right now I'll scroll it up and put it up place it up uh, where I want right under CPU clock all right so I'll click on data provider I mean the triple dots next to data provider now I'll select the type as CPU temperature and group it under CPU so that it shows up right inside the CPU and I'll set the maximum temperature to 105 which my CPU can actually handle click on OK and click apply I guess that would be it now let's check inside the game if we can see the temperatures yes we can see the temperatures earlier the temperatures were not visible but now it is at 70 degree approximately um, that's how MSI afterburner and HW info can be used one more thing um, under monitoring just uh, set the hardware pulling period to 500 ms which is 1000 ms by default but because we set that to 500 ms in HW info it would be great if we set that to 500 ms in this too I guess that would be it 
that's all folks and if i help you if this video helped you don't forget to click that like button smash that like button and thank you for being here